Hi all, welcome to Sidza.com. Now in this video we will learn about the mole fraction. As we have previously discussed that there are different ways of expressing the concentration of a solution and mole fraction is one of them. We have previously discussed the concentration terms like molarity, normality, molality, uh, percentage, right? Now we will discuss about the mole fraction. Mole fraction is defined as the ratio of the number of the moles of one component to the total number of moles of the solution. So basically, if you have two, suppose, uh, two components in a solution, suppose I got component A and the component B, right? So suppose B is the solute and A is the solvent and I'm mixing the two. This is a solution here, correct? So the mole fraction of a one component Suppose component A will be equal to the moles, number of moles of the A divided by the total number of moles of the solution. So that means the mole fraction will be equal to the number of moles of the solute divided by the total moles of solution. Let's take here an example. Suppose we have a solution in which two moles of water are present, you know, are mixed with one mole of ethanol. So we have a mixture, we have a solution uh, of the water and ethanol. Two moles of water and one mole of an ethanol. So what will be the mole fraction of water? Correct? So mole fraction of the water will be the number of moles of water. Correct? That is two moles divided by the total number of moles. Right? This is not the, the number of moles of ethanol or of the water only. It is the total number of moles. Right? Total moles in solution. That is two moles of water and one mole of uh, ethanol. So this is two by three. Right? So that means this will be the 0 0.666 will be the mole fraction of the uh, water. And this is a unitless quantity. Remember, this is a unitless because it is the ratio of the, you know, the two uh, similar components, right? Similarly, we can find the mole fraction of ethanol, right? Isn't it? We can find the mole fraction of ethanol. That will be equal to 1 divided by because we have one mole of an ethanol one divided by two plus one which is total number of moles right there so it is one by three correct so it is 0 0.333 remember for the two by for the for a binary solution right for any binary solution if you have two components in a solution the mole fraction of the component a plus the mole fraction of the component B is always equal to 1, right? That means if you know the mole fraction of one component, suppose if you know the mole fraction of A, you can find the mole fraction of B. So from this equation, I can write down the mole fraction of B will be equal to 1 minus XA, right? So if you know the mole fraction of one component, you can find the mole fraction of another. Like here, we got the mole fraction of water and we could have easily calculated the you know the mole fraction of ethanol, right? So we can do it one minus zero point six six six. So again, in the same way, you know, you can you'll get the same value here, right? If you use this equation here, you know, suppose you go you know the mole fraction of water, you can find the mole fraction of ethanol, one minus zero point six six six. And if you know the mole fraction of ethanol, you can find the mole fraction of water, because the mole fraction of component A plus B is always equal to one point zero. Another term is, you know, similar to the mole fraction, we have a mass fraction, right? It's, you know, pretty simple and, you know, very uh, similar to the mole fraction. The only difference is now we are taking the ratio of the masses, right? Not the no, ratio of the moles. So here it is the mass of, you know, the component A or you can see the mass of solute divided by the total mass of solution. Suppose here we got 36 grams of water and, you know, 46, you know, grams of ethanol. Okay, so that means if you have a mixture here, we go, you know, it contains uh, 36 grams of water. Okay, and it contains 46 grams of ethanol, right? Now, what will be the, what will be the, you know, the mass fractions? We can see the mass fraction of water here. It will be 36 grams of water is there divided by total weight, total mass of solution that is 36 plus 46. Right, so this will be 36, and this will be, you know, this is 2, and this is 8, 82. Right, 
So it comes out to be, you know, 0 0.439. Now what will be the mass fraction of the ethanol? C2H5OH. The mass fraction of the ethanol will be 46 divided by 36 plus 46 again, which is 46 divided by 82. It will be 0 0.56. One, right? And again, if you check it here, if you you know add the two, 0 0.439 and 0 0.561, it will come out to be you know the summation of these two come it will be 1.0. That means the mass fraction of A component plus the mass fraction of the B for any binary solution it will be equal to 1.0. That means again, if you know the mass fraction of one component, you can find it for the other one, because the mass fraction of A will be equal to one minus x B. Or you can say the mass fraction of the B will be equal to 1 minus XA. Another concentration term that is, you know, uh, very commonly used for calculating, you know, the, the, the pollutants in our atmosphere, right? That is the PPM, parts per million. See, this is the term that we normally use when you have a very dilute solution. Okay, parts per million, PPM, this is the concentration term which is used uh, only for the dilute solutions right because we cannot you know if you have a solution a uh, very dilute solution we can't express its you know a concentration uh, in molarity because you know uh, the molarity will be suppose something like this if the molarity is like suppose 0 0.0003 you know 231 like that okay and another solution has a molarity of you know suppose 0 0.0023 2 to 1 so it is you know uh, not a convenient way of comparing the two solutions here right you know in terms of the molarity so therefore for a dilute solution right for the dilute solutions we use the term ppm so this is uh, a basically um, a concentration term which expresses the amount of a solute present in one millionth part of the solution so it represents the mass of the solute present in one millionth part of uh, you know, solution, a solution by mass, right? And how do we calculate it? The PPM will be equal to the mass of solution, you know, solute divided by the mass of solution. Time is here, you know. If you, you know, uh, multiply by 100, right? If it is, you know, 100, then it will be percentage out of, you know, 100th part, right? But if you multiply it by 1 million, 10 power 6, it becomes the PPM, correct? So just like in our percentage concentrations, you know, we are we are trying to find out the mass of solute present in, uh, in, in you know, the 100 parts of the solution, correct? Okay, so similarly, we can here express the concentration of a solute in, you know, 1 millionth part of, 1 million parts by mass of the solution. So its time is 10 power 6, okay? The PPM, we can write it is, the weight of component A divided by the weight of component A plus weight of component B, right? Time is 10 power 6. We can also express the, you know, the PPM in terms of volumes also, right? So we have another term, you know, we use the PPM also for the measurement of, you know, the volumes. Suppose we have to find the volume of A, component A divided by the total volume, right? So you can see the volume of A plus volume of B, total volume time is 10 power 6. That will be the PPM in terms of the volumes. This is the PPM in terms of weights. Hope you got the concept. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.